Hello everybody, greeting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today I like to share from Romans chapter 8 verse 18 to 23. I like to read from verse 18 to 21. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the refilling of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected in hope, because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption in the glorious liberty of the children of God. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this is a very one of the very essential teaching in the Bible, I believe. It talks about the big rewards we will receive when Jesus comes back again or when we have our afterlife. It talks about how our sufferings in this world cannot be compared to the big, the marvelous rewards waiting for us. In verse 18, it says that I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory. Brothers and sisters, it's just so amazing what the Lord is preparing for everyone who believes in Him. I could not express it enough in words, but when we understand his promises. He has a big promise. He has many, many good promises for those who are faithfully follow him. The Bible says that with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Hallelujah. We will be changed with the new body, the resurrection body. And we will be just like our Lord and it's not limited with the physical dimensions but we will have just like Jesus we are to live just like him when the glory comes and it is revealed in us the glory of God it is beyond all our understandings it is beyond more than what we ever heard or even see, see with our eyes. In verse 19, the Bible says that for the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the refilling of the sons of God. Amen. It talks about the creation eagerly waits. Yes, the creation, even the animals, the plans that are created brothers and sisters since the fall of Adam and Eve everyone is under suffering everyone lives under sufferings and they, they especially yes I mean we as the believers are waiting for the refilling of the sons of God waiting for the time that we meet Jesus face to face we will be changed and we will be changed just like Jesus is and that will be a glorious time brothers and sisters let us be faithful believing in him and we know that the later will be much better hallelujah for the last, I'd like to read from verse 21. Because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Amen. I underline this, the glorious liberty of the children of God. Yes, God promises so many good, good things 
and in this word says that the glorious liberty we will be living in liberty in freedom in the sense that we will continue worshiping the Lord 24 hours we will be serving the Lord 24 hours we will be rejoicing with him for 24 hours on and on and brothers and sisters that will be very glorious the most glorious things ever in our life hallelujah praise the lord let us be encouraged in the lord jesus amen